Serve her who is virgin mother and crone. Beer, mead, and strong spirits. What do you expect in a tavern? Jump poop. Don't know where you're from, but I can see it's far off. Show me what you have in stock. Welcome to the home of Jarl Udelrek, of the Honorable Clan Brockfire. Greetings. Wanted to see the Jarl. Enter. Jarl's still speaking to his seer, but they should finish soon. One thing. Watch where you step. How come? Jarl's not too fond of light. Makes it easy to trip. You're good for picking your teeth, Jarl. Axe! There's a weapon. Then squander it. Jarl must have dreamt in another vision. It'll be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yarl. Yeah. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. I see something wrong. You must forgive the Earl. Hasn't been feeling well of late. Is he sick? He didn't seem quite right during Croch's feast, but... Forgive me. I must go to him. Where's Ceres? I've got to find her. Uh, I don't know. Ask around. Great. Remember that storm car? 
house in Old Bay. I like it where yesterday. Last night was off the fell overboard a near drive. We serve her who is virgin. Greetings. You're not that scary, Jeepers. What can I do for you, traveler? Can you trim my hair? Way it is now, it gets in my eyes. So long. Pardon, I'm looking... Busy here, can't you see? Hey there. Friend of yours, Sylvia the Common Folk. Hey, choose your poison and don't try any tricks. Take care. Beware the bandits that lurk in the highlands. It is an honor to host on Crete's daughter. Sorry to interrupt. You need something? Come, let's have a pint of that shot. Thanks, but I'm short on time. Looking for a girl named Ceres. Crack on Crate's daughter. She was here, but I've not seen her away. Take care. Greetings. Ha! Nary a soul for months. Then one day guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveler. Hungry. Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. Ah, you found her. Or near to. Lass was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our Jarl. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Big Thora and Eirik. Who are Big Thora and Eirik? Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. Was the Jarl that helped him win Big Thora's hand. They lived toward the east end of the village. Take care. Bless you. And my blessings to Ceres when you see her. It was a fallen star in my mind. Got a betrothed. Greetings. I'm looking for someone. <laughs> Lucky chap you are then. Truth be told, I'm taken. But village is brimming with lovely girls. I'm looking for Ceres. The skinny thing. Lovely doe eyes, true, and she's from an honorable house. But the lass is gaunt as a sapling. I don't know where she is, and her father... Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No Skellige lass can perish in her own isles. All right, she was here a few hours. Went to find me man, Eirik. Needed to talk, she said. They should be on the beach, to other side of the isle. Thanks. Take care. Good luck searching. Eat a dragon. to be warning, you'd be herring bit about now. Thanks for your help. Did it once, maybe you can do it again. Well, I'll have to think about it. Busy the day me fishing got nets to mend. No time to fight monsters. It's not Drowners this time. It's Ceres. I'm looking for her. Aye, fine-looking girl. Can tell right away she's from a good clan. 
Left us sitting right here when I sailed out to bring in the morning catch. Any idea why she came here? She say what she was after, or just admire the scenery? Just about our Jarl and his family. She say where she was headed? Uh, wouldn't tell a stranger, but we did risk our hides together. Went to Odelgrick's old family home. Yonder on the hill. Thanks. Farewell. Fresh footprints. They could be serious as something serious. Something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword! Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back! You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Ulrich. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have, if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Udlerich's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udlerich. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udlerich and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udlerich. But his father gave Bokfar to his little brother, Aki. Huh. Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udelrek to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udelrek to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Got a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. There was an accident. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udelrek had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Udelrek kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udelrek right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udelrek's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? 
He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udelric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udelric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udelric? No chance. Your weak might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. about. So, did you find the sword? I found it. Let's go. After you then. My da, you were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something, or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease. The calm and the quiet. Brand those swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. Oh. Oh. Brand the brand of her the The blood of kings. Jennifer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Already bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. 
It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Olula's needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar is returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off.
Damn, these commas struck me. Then we Very gotta drag sure. their corpse. Why'd you do it? I... What is this? Ludwig. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come.